Good morning, this is Ron Brown. It is uh, Sunday morning, 11.35 a.m. Central Time. I'm going to uh, do a, a series of uh, videos, short videos, uh, I may add, uh, that uh, concentrate on uh, learning VSA, VPA, whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh, ACSI uses uh, volume price analysis as its terminology, but uh, the original uh, was volume spread analysis, and uh, they're both one and the same. But uh, what I want to do is uh, in this video uh, series is uh, keep track of the market using uh, these techniques. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to try to limit these uh, videos to uh, five or ten minutes at the most. And uh, as I uh, complete each one, I will just uh, post them uh, via Twitter and uh, on uh, Fa uh, I'm sorry, not Facebook, on YouTube. Uh, anyway, let's get started. Where I am right now is I'm in uh, my major market analysis user groups, and I'm down here in industries, and uh, I also have a folder called Industries, uh, which includes specialty indexes, which I've added uh, to the uh, database. These are uh, indexes uh, that... Uh, uh, contain, uh, well, let me just go there. I'm going to use this view. If you have HGSI, if you're a member of the Insider Club, uh, you can get this. I'll also post uh, this uh, up on the add-ons or the market analysis user groups. I'll put these up uh, when I'm done recording. So I'm going to just say OK, and you can see that I'm I'm in here in the uh, folder. Now, what I'm doing is I am looking at... Uh, all of these indexes, and I'm using what's uh, uh, called a combo ranking, and it uh, divides the advancers. The advancers are divided by the decliners. I think this is uh, the best way to look at the market. Rather than looking at the broader markets, uh, there's so much information there. Yes, it's important to do that, but now we're going to burrow down here uh, a little bit uh, into the groups. Now, if you look down here, you're going to see a blank spot. That's one of my specialty uh, groups. I'm going to sort on industry, and this will bring all of the special specialty groups to the top of the list. Now, you have to be an Insider Club member to get uh, uh, this version of it. Uh, actually, I'll probably just go ahead and uh, post this uh, export and post this uh, this uh, set of groups along with my other groups uh, up uh, to the add-on page in HGSI. So what do we have here? We have 5G related stocks, Canaries Index, uh, which is the uh, large cap tech stocks, cannabis or related stocks, Chinese related uh, stocks, COVID-19 stocks, and so on. Uh, but you can make any kind of uh, specialty index in HGSI just by adding uh, stocks that are relevant to a group. I'm going to go back and I'm going to sort on raw combo. That is the advancers divided by the decliners. And I'm going to make this full screen uh, for a minute. You can see there are 187 groups in here, which includes my uh, specialty groups. And many of these groups uh, were uh, uh, created by uh, taking stocks that uh, members of the uh, Insider Club suggested. But let's go up here to the top and you can see uh, what happened on Friday. Now, just because it happened on Friday doesn't mean uh, that it's uh, going to continue. But it uh, is significant as of Friday because if you look at casinos and gaming, there were 12 advancers, one decliner. Uh, the If you look over here to the right, you can see that the index... Uh, was up 8.52%, and over five days it's down 26.64%. And if you look over here a little bit further, you'll see that uh, one day ago or on Thursday, strength seen returning to this group. So if I bring up the group, and uh, I'm going to minimize this, and uh, these are uh, three charts. Here's the monthly, here's the weekly, and here's the daily. Now, I am using uh, the Williams bar charts on these two. And this one, uh, I decided uh, I would uh, switch to candles so we could uh, 
uh, understand this a little better, but I can quickly go back just to a uh, to a bar chart too. So this is the index itself. If you look up here, you'll see that I'm in the casinos and game index. What do we learn from this? We learn that as the sell-off intensified volume crept up, it shot up actually. It didn't cre creep up as uh, people were billing out of uh, their positions. And then when we get down here uh, to this point, you can see there was a stopping volume flag and also a transfer of ownership as the selling uh, started to diminish a little bit. It didn't diminish on volume, but it, it, when you look at the range of the candle, it tells you that some buyers are stepping in. So this is really uh, to getting to the point where it's a selling climax. We had another stopping volume the next day. Now the range on this one, the range of the bar is a little bit higher than this one, but in both instances, players are stepping up because they perceive this as a, a bargain. And uh, is it a bargain? Who knows? I mean, uh, this uh, the coronavirus spread is uh, getting worse, and uh, these could keep going down. Remember, these are paper assets. They're only worth what somebody else is willing to pay for them. And uh, some people, uh, uh, traders, think they're getting at a bargain, and maybe they're just getting a trap. Who knows? But let's go down to the next one. If I click on this and look up here, you can see that there was a transfer of ownership strength seen returning after a downtrend. And what do we have here? We have a white candle. We have a white candle on this because this close is higher than this close. We have a white candle on this bar because this close is higher than this close. But we also have what is known as a, a shooting star if you uh, use uh, candle terminology and that's uh, why I uh, I am using the candle version here. Now look at the volume on Friday. There were a lot of buyers in here but if you got in late on these stocks on uh, Friday uh, you you were chasing and uh, or whoever did now I'm not saying you whoever did you were chasing because this is well off its high. The thing to do here is to change to the industry group and I'm going to bring my quick pick back. I I had it up. I'm sorry about that. And in my number three folder, number six, stocks end of day, top down from indexes. This is sorted on raw combo. And I use a combo ranking called demand end of day, which brings the stocks to the top of the list that were most in demand based upon my parameters. Now look down here at this range and you're going to see that even though these stocks were up for the day in fact uh, let's see this list right here these were all positive there were three negative even though it was up for the day these closed well off of their daily range so anybody who got in there and started buying late in the day I uh, ended up uh, as a loser now let's go over here to the right. You can see the last VPA signals. Um, transfer of ownership on scientific games. And one day ago, ago strength seen returning. All of these were strength seen returning on these stocks. And that was one day ago or on Thursday. This column tells you how old the flags are. Let's just look at a few of these. So here's scientific gaming. And what is the range on this? This one closed with the highest range of the day, nearly at 50%. What do we have here? Uh, we have uh, a, a VPA flag at the bottom. It's seen strength seen returning after a downtrend. That corresponds for what's over here. Or corresponds with what's over here. And then the next day is transfer of ownership. What does that mean? It means that uh, the uh, bears were selling into what the bulls were buying, and we have a tremendous amount of volume here. In situations like this, it is uh, better to wait for a low volume test rather than chasing these, because you can see, obviously, that uh, a lot of uh, 
people are just uh, day trading these. They're getting in early, they're taking their profits, and they're getting out. Let's go over here and look at, at this here. Okay, here's the range. One day change. 40% on this little stock. Doesn't look like it here, but that was a massive gain. So if it's 40% now, if somebody bought bought the open and it uh, traded up here, what kind of gain would that be? Well, let's, let's find out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in as close as I can. I'm going to hit my alternate A key. I'm going to go to the low of the day. I'll hold my shift key and then I'm going to go to approximately the high of the day. Then I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to go up to that. And uh, if you look down here where the cursor is right now, you can see from the open, and I got the open a little bit high uh, to the high of the day, that was a 57.5% gain. Now, if you're anybody who was fortunate enough to buy this little stock and get a 57.5% gain out of it, do you think they're going to hold on to it? Uh, highly doubtful. Some people did, but uh, those who chased it up here, let's just take this down and let's, uh, I'm going to, uh, I didn't want that. It's not close enough. Bear with me here. Okay, so anybody who bought at the top and uh, sold here or is still holding on to it, they are down 18.4% on that trade. So risk control is is what it's all about. And uh, with this emotional trading, you can get caught up in these. You can lose a lot of money in a hurry. So uh, if you decide that you're going to chase these, uh, be very careful. Yes, if you get in early, like after this uh, on Thursday, uh, the gap up uh, was the place to buy on that one. Let's, uh, I don't want this video to get very much longer. I want to find uh, a uh, stopping volume stock here. Red Rocks, let's look at PIN. No. Okay, right here. Let's go down to Melco. Why did I go there? Because I looked down here and I saw that there was stopping volume. Now you can see that there are three days here of stopping volume. That circle, this circle, and this circle. And these are all red because the closes were lower than the prior day. But it was slowing down. This day right here with a big volume spike, uh, it looks like uh, traders really stepped up there. But had you bought there and uh, held down through here, uh, there'd be a lot of pain. So it takes a lot of courage to uh, jump in here and take these stopping volume trades. Trades, Like I said, what you want to do is you want to wait and hopefully get a low volume test over here if the market settles down. And we have no idea what's going to happen with this market uh, because uh, the news just keeps getting worse. Uh, people are bailing. They're getting out of bond funds, stock funds, and uh, it's uh, we just don't know. But I want you, if you're interested, to continue to learn about these VPA flags. And uh, uh, the one I concentrated on today is uh, uh, stopping volume and strength scene returning. And uh, I hope to do a series of these short videos as we go along. So just just be careful. That's, I'm going to want to go back here to number three. And you can see the logic index, uh, midstream oil and gas. These were strong on Friday. But it doesn't mean a thing if panic uh, continues to set into the market. Anyway, thank you for listening. And uh, I... Um, We'll continue to put some of these videos out and uh, try to keep them as short as possible. Be safe.